feel like you took a step backwards last weekend after the big series in Michigan State? Uh, I'm not sure a step back. I mean, it was certainly a step sideways a little bit. Um, I, I don't think it was a step back from the standpoint of Friday night, minus the penalties, we played well. Uh, we didn't score. Again, you watch the film of that. We had uh, 23 scoring chances in the first period. Uh, literally, if you score another goal, that game could have gone the other way very quickly. Um, but, you know, with that, all the penalties, nine power plays against was very difficult to deal with. Um, there was not any flow in that game, but we still generated some things. But that, that all being said, I think that some of our, and, it, and it's sport across the board, I mean, if Aaron Rodgers doesn't play well, they're, the Packers are going to struggle. Uh, no different for us. I don't think Ryan Dezingo, Max McCormick, Tanner Fritz, Chris Crane, our go-to guys had their A game uh, for whatever reason. Uh, that all being said, we still had the opportunity in that game. The next night, again, didn't have their A game, but found a way to, to battle and compete, certainly in the second and third period. A couple of key goals from defensemen. It was nice to see that. It's Miami week. You've been around this program for a couple of years now. As a coach, how do you know that it's Miami week with the players without seeing it on the schedule? This, their intensity in practice. You see it right away. Um, you know, it's an in-state rival. I don't think it's much different than Bowling Green. Uh, anytime you have that opportunity to play in-state, I think Bowling Green, obviously, you're going back with the start of the CCHA. Um, so, you know, that, that rivalry that's there uh, certainly is heightened. Uh, I think Miami's success here the last 10, 11 years uh, really brings it to another level. Do you have to say anything to the guys? Do you have to, do you have to remind them? What's on the line? I mean, every home game, every game's important at the points, but the rivalry factor and the fact that it's Miami and two, two teams, there's no Christmas cards exchanged. Yeah, we're going to remind them every day. I mean, they, they see it on practice sheet. Uh, we talk about it every day. Uh, no different than last week. We reminded them that you're playing Robert Morris, and uh, you have to prepare every day the same way, but uh, certainly there's going to be, it's just naturally each inside each person that, you're playing Miami, you're playing uh, in-state, you're playing a team that's had success, uh, it's certainly going to go up a level. Unless we forget the Ohio Cup is on the line this weekend as well. But just, <laughs> um, obviously no series in December is make or break, but I mean, it, going against a rival last series of the, of the year can really kind of put you into quality break on a good mood or, or put you behind the eight ball a little bit. I mean, just how important is this series? In general, for a December. Well, I, I just think, I mean, it's very similar to what we've said all year. We we have to continue to get better. Um, like you said, started off with the question. It's not make or break. Um, it's the, the best thing about hockey is long. The worst thing about hockey is long. The season. Uh, so you, you you know you can't go into this weekend saying, well, you you win or lose two games. It's either over or you've just won everything. Well, it's a long ways from over, and uh, you got to continue to get better. And I think you got to set the tone. Uh, for our team to continue to get better, starting with the opening face-off on Friday night. Um, and I think our guys understand that. I think they want to continue to build, and um, you know, it's just a heightened awareness on who you're playing. Your thoughts on playing two home games against them as opposed to sometimes in a series, you know, a home-and-home home series. Do you like it this way? or? Uh, I, I don't think it necessarily matters. I, I think that uh, hockey in general is hard. I mean, you play back-to-back -back games, it's hard to win two. Um, you know, that next night is very difficult. Uh, and I, I think the home and home thing can generate a little bit more excitement because excitement, you only have one game here. Uh, and I think it, from a fan standpoint, it might be a good thing, but I, I don't necessarily really care hey. which way it goes.